Our community prepares for National Homeless Persons Day. Transportation officials want resident feedback on improvements to Route 28 in Hyannis. Plus, Town Council meets tonight. We have details about what is on the agenda. These stories and more on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, December 18th, 2014. I'm Sarah Mannell. Homelessness continues to be an issue in our community. 32 homeless or previously homeless per people on Cape Cod lost their lives this year. On Sunday, December 21st, the Duffy Health Center and other homeless advocates will honor the lives of those who passed away. The National Homeless Persons Memorial Day service will be held on Sunday, December 21st. That service will begin at the Village Green and proceed to the Federated Church of Hyannis. The public is invited to attend. The Massachusetts Department of Transportation is working on design for improvements along Route 28 at intersections with Burses Way and the Cape Cod Mall. A public forum on those improvements will take place later this month at Town Hall. Details on the design so far will be presented. The public meeting is set for Monday, December 22nd at 7 p.m. in the Town Hall hearing room. Single stream recycling is coming to Barnstable beginning in the new year. Transfer station customers who recycle will no longer have to sort their plastic, aluminum cans, paper, and bottles into separate containers. Instead, all recyclables, with the exception of corrugated cardboard, will be combined together for disposal. Also beginning January 1st, residents who wish to recycle only must obtain a sticker. That sticker will be free of charge and can be purchased at the transfer station. Town Council meets tonight. Barnstable this morning host Sarah Colvin talked with Town Council President Jessica Rapgrissetti to get details. Town Council meets tonight. A quite short agenda awaits and to run down the orders of the day, I welcome Town Council President Jessica Rapgrissetti. Jessica, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. I'm at, I can't believe this is our last meeting for the year 2014. I My know goodness. it's 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 amazing and this is what I like to call the town council holiday edition correct it's it's the the, the meeting that starts off with a beautiful performance um, by uh, the high school. That's right the Barnstable High School Chamber Choir with uh, Marsha Whitrell uh, who's a choral director they'll be performing our uh, our holiday uh, serenade and uh, we're looking forward to that that always sets the tone for the evening which is uh, a very light evening the agenda most of our business has been completed um, we really only have um, well, um, we're not going to uh, be hearing from any um, uh, commissions or boards I haven't invited any of them to come forward of course anyone is welcome to come during communications but we only have one item under old business that was carried over from our last meeting and uh, that's with regards to the uh, purchase of maintenance and interments equipment for the town cemeteries, and that's an appropriation order of $69,030. And, you know, since uh, the late 90s, the structure and grounds cemetery section has, has uh, been performing burial operations throughout the town cemeteries, and, uh, and they need equipment to uh, keep uh, uh, that function going and um, so they've asked for uh, tractors and and uh, uh, some supplies and whatnot totaling that amount but um, they have a, a, a general fund and uh, the equipment will be coming out of that cemetery revenue fund. Sure and important work that they do. I had a chance to go visit uh, Daniel St. Pierre down at uh, Mosswood Cemetery not too long ago and it's pretty impressive the operation that they have down there. Of course Mosswood's the, the hub for all of the landscaping um, in Barnstable but just to see you know what the cemetery workers do on a daily basis is, is pretty impressive and I think it's something that a lot of people don't really think about. It's something you don't think about until you kind of have to think about it. Right and you know um, you can buy a cemetery lot, and it's the proceeds from those sales that go into this special fund that helps to uh, offset the cost. So this, th there's no impact on general fund um, operating budget with regards to these sure. items, but necessary for them. Absolutely. Um, and uh, the new business uh, we have um, is, I'm very pleased to, uh, I 
announced the acceptance of a gift of $8,200 from the Friends of the Loop Beach to uh, bring the handicap accessible ramp up to code. There is a handicap ramp there, um, but it needs improvements, and uh, they want to extend it so that it gets a little bit um, closer to the water's edge. Um, and uh, with the help of, led by Lori Dooley, Corey, um, they uh, um, have raised funds, and um, the Disability Commission is providing an additional um, monies, I think $2,500, and um, and they will um, they'll use those funds to upgrade the ramp, and it should be in place for our next summer season. Wonderful! So that's, that's exciting. We should be and here that just goes we know to it, show right? you too how you know a, um, you know a group um, that has has an interest in a project. They went out, they sought the funds on their own, and uh, and brought it back to in this case, the Disability Commission, and when there's efforts um, put forth by citizens and it can be matched um, wherever possible, and this is a result of that. So that's great. Absolutely. Great collaboration. Really like, like to see that and like to see the impact that our residents and citizens can have uh, on, yeah. on what happens. Yeah. And our, um, our last item for business is um, reappointments to a board committee commission. This is... Um, uh, the library committee, which um, all these um, volunteers, which um, are not actually appointed uh, um, formally by our appointments committee and the town council appointments committee, but rather put forth by um, the individual libraries, um, they come to us for ratification. And uh, um, their terms traditionally end at the end of the year, but this uh, this will be just for the term ending to 6-30-15, because what we want to do is bring them in compliance with all of our other boards, committee, and commissions, and have um, their their terms ending at the end of the fiscal year rather than the end of the calendar year. So this will be a first read, and this will be just for the six months, and then we'll have to do it again, um, you know, in, in uh, uh, the mid-year. So um, this is the first read on those sure. volunteers. And that's that's it. That's that's the entire meeting uh, for this evening. And this, as you said, is the last meeting of 2014. I know. You know, the, the first meeting um, uh, of the year was canceled because of snow. <laughs> um, all the other meetings went as planned. You know, even we had some power uh, issues at a prior to a couple of meetings. I think the elevator went out before one meeting, but we were able to get it fixed. So we only missed one meeting due to weather last uh, this year. Um, so I'm hoping next year we can we can uh, um, do a, uh, um, a schedule that uh, doesn't get delayed by snow. So let's uh, let's hope. I know the kids are hoping for snow, but a lot of us aren't. So. That's right. I'm one of those who is not <laughs> hoping for snow. So I know I'm putting you on the spot, but if you think back to 2014, is there anything uh, that you'll particularly remember um, about this past year, Jessica? Well, um, you know, it was a special year for the town celebrating its 375th year. And to see all of the uh, letterhead um, and everybody wearing pins, uh, and and the the uh, 375 uh, lighted sign throughout the town. To me, that uh, um, that brings it home. I mean, it was a special year um, for us to commemorate, and I'm going to miss actually the <clears throat> the logo. And uh, I think I'll continue to wear my pin. But uh, um, I think all the efforts that went into celebrating our 375 um, birthday is is going to be. Uh, um, the highlight of my year, and certainly my uh, my term as president uh, with my vice president Ann Kennedy. She's um, um, been a delight to to work with, and and um, I'm looking forward to another year um, serving in that capacity. So, and town council meets tonight at seven in the town hall hearing room. We'll be sure to tune into our hour long news program Barnstable this morning weekdays at seven a.m. On tomorrow's show, we will have our weekly arts and culture segment. We'll chat with Sandy Neck Beach Park Manager Nina Coleman. Plus, we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.